The Sudanese government has said that it foiled an attempted coup on Tuesday, accusing those loyal to ousted President Omar al-Bashir of plotting a failed bid to derail the revolution that removed him from power in 2019. Sudan's military said that 21 officers and a number of soldiers had been detained in connection with the coup attempt, and a search for others continues. But all affected locations were brought back under control of the army. ما حدث انقلاب مدبر من جهات داخل وخارج القوات المسلحة وهو امتداد لمحاولات الفلول منذ سقوط النظام البائد لجهاد الانتقال المدني الديمقراطي. سبقت المحاولة تحضيرات واسعة تمثلت في الانفلات الأمني في المدن. استغلال الأوضاع في شرق البلاد ومحاولات قطع الطرق القومية وإغلاق المواني وتعطيل إنتاج النفط والتحريض المستمر ضد الحكومة المدنية. The coup attempt indicates the difficulties facing a government that has reoriented Sudan since 2019. It has won Western debt relief and taken steps to normalize ties with Israel while battling a severe economic crisis. A ruling body known as the Sovereign Council has run Sudan under a fragile power-sharing deal between the military and civilians since the overthrow of Bashir, who presided over Sudan for nearly three decades. Elections are expected to be held in 2024. A day after the coup, the streets of the capital Khartoum appeared calm, with people moving around normally. Government spokesman Hamza Balo said that the suspected instigators of the coup attempt had been arrested and were being interrogated, adding that the last pockets of rebellion at Al-Shajara camp in South Khartoum were being dealt with. The leader of the coup was the commander of the armoured corps based there, Major General Bakrawi, who worked with 22 other officers. But this is not the first challenge to the transitional government. It says they have foiled or detected previous coup attempts linked to factions loyal to Bashir, who was deposed by the army after months of protests against his rule. The United States, Britain and Norway, which have led Western engagement with Sudan, as well as the United Nations, stressed their support for democratic transition. Wow. Exactly. And the U.S. was quick to condemn the coup attempt. Sudan has gradually been welcomed into the international fold since the overthrow of Bashir, who was sought by the International Criminal Court over alleged atrocities in Darfur in the early 2000s.